Shalom, you guys. Welcome back to the channel, just as I'm coming on Scott's message. Me. <clears throat> I just want to make a really quick video and catch up with you all. Um, I know I haven't been seen much here lately. I've been in isolation, working on codes and personal codes and working on personal growth um, myself. Trying to get myself into a routine to better myself and feel better. Um, as many of you have known, uh, this past year has been pretty rough and uh, it's taken a lot out of me and um, I'm coming through it. Hallelujah. But the reason for this video is um, because I wanted to catch up with you. I miss you guys. I miss doing the live broadcast. Um, but like I said, things have been really, I've been on the threshing floor as many of you have right along with me. So if you recall, I talked about this last year, had no idea what I was going to go through, um, but here we are. Um, and it's not pleasant, but it's necessary. I wanted to encourage you guys because I've been getting emails um, since we started doing the personal codes. Every day I get follow-up emails from you guys checking on your codes, which is created a little bit of a problem for me because of the amount of emails that I have to manage on top of the daily amount that I get anyway. Um, but I got some good news and I'm getting to that. I'm trying to contain myself a little bit. Um, a lot happening, you guys. A lot is moving really quickly. It was certainly blessing and um, pulling us through the fire. The new website is almost complete. And once that is done, everything will be more streamlined. Right now, it's kind of chaotic. I threw myself into this uh, without really thinking it through on the logistics on it. And it's really caused me a lot of anxiety, you guys. And that's not your fault. That's my fault for not being better planned. I had no idea the response I was going to get. And I made the commitment of getting all this done in one month. And I haven't been able to do that. Um, it's taken me now two months and four days, but I do have good news. And this is the good news. I have found every single one of you, every one of your names I have found. So, and let me just be clear. I have found all of your names. I haven't worked all of the codes. I had to drop back. What was happening was I was doing it in bunches, five at a time. I would get them to a certain point. And it was creating a lot of chaos because I was going to have back and forth and then I would lose my place. I would forget where I was at. And oh, yeah, by the way, the computer shuts down sometimes. And then I would had to start all over. So it's been quite frustrating uh, not having this organized. Let me show you my organization. <laughs> right here in a notebook. OK, so and it's not the best um, way of keeping records. So. I have found all of your names and um, I want you to take comfort in that. That is the most common email I get every day is, did you find my name yet? Yes, I did. I found your name. If you have emailed me and you sent a donation for a personal code search, I have found your name and you are there. Relax. It's all going to be good. I've noticed some things in doing this and uh, wow, what a journey it was brought me through. This is the first, I've done personal codes for years, you guys. I've done codes on Paul Begley, uh, his wife, um, Mark Biltz. I did a personal code for him when I met him. I did a personal code for Jonathan Kahn. Hundreds of personal codes I've done. I just haven't done it publicly because I didn't, at the time, I didn't want to create, you know, a firestorm. Because it could potentially create some problems. Um you know, I don't know you guys personally. And so there could be someone who messages me that is not stable and is trying to get information from me about them. And uh, I don't know what the consequences of, of that kind of thing is. I don't want to push people over uh, the edge or uh, discourage them or anything because you guys, there's incredible truth in these tables. When the word says that he knows every hair on your head, he truly does. And when you see yourself in the codes like this and the details and all those details compile on top of each other, which makes it exponentially impossible that this is just random, just random. No, not at all. He's got a plan for you. 
I've noticed something really interesting in doing this, uh, uh, these tables, you guys, and, and the amount, the, the workload, um, the number of um, data points creates a pattern. And I can see that pattern. And uh, it's very fascinating to, to, to see that because I didn't have a chance to, before. When I would do personal codes, I would do one here, one there, one here, one there. And I didn't have the chance to see them side by side, right? We're all encoded at some access term at some skip interval, uh, but there's some that are at the same skip. Um, and so when you get a, um, when you get a batch, or I don't even know how to put the words, when you get a, a level of in, information, and you're able to look at all of those um, variables and you can be able to compare, that's when the patterns start to emerge. And one, one thing I noticed was the incredible amount of people who are encoded in and around the Psalms, um, which was remarkable. Some in the very same Psalms and some at the very same skips. It's incredible. You guys are like this <laughs> side by side, all through these coats. Um, and some of the same verses, and it's very beautiful to see that. And abacus effects that are exactly the same, like the word ibrit, which, re, which in, in many cases reads re, in reverse and is the combination of two words in, um, in the plain text. It is not there normally. It's hidden from the eye. Um, that would just, and it's all in the same scriptures, which is in First and Second Kings. The very same ones over and over and over and over and over again. It encourages me. It inspires me. And the one thing I've realized is the inspiration for you that this will hold. And that's very um, touching and special to me. Uh, it's very encouraging to me, too, um, especially after what I've been through this past year and then looking at, at some of the codes uh, about myself, I, I get comfort in that because, um, you know, when you've been slandered and torn down and tear, tore apart, you, you start playing those things in your head and uh, it begins to take a toll on you. Um, you know, I was sinking farther and further into uh, depression and um, anguish and just despair from relationships destroyed and lost and um, my property destroyed and stolen and lost and everything that's happened was taking a toll. And then Yahuwah pulls you out of that, just his word, showing you who you are in his word and what he thinks of you, how he loves you. The depth, the width of that is incredible. And so for the few that I have been able to, to sit down with and, and do videos, and, and by the way, that's caused some logistics issues too, is catching up with a lot of you on your schedules and um, the time delays, time zones, what have you, those kinds of things uh, makes it a little difficult to schedule with you guys, which is uh, not going to be a thing on the website. We will have Calendly so you guys can, you know, make appointments and uh, meet with me that way instead of just trying to play phone tag and all that. It's, it's kind of a nuisance. Um, everything will be more streamlined. But for the few of you that I, I was able to meet with and um, do a recording, I could see your reaction. I could see what it meant for you to, to see these codes. And so um, that's touched me and it's inspired me to do this that, that we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing personal codes and topic searches from now on on the website for donation. You can contract me uh, for personal searches or topic searches, things that you're thinking about, things that you wanna know, those kinds of things. There'll be a form there that you can fill out and um, we'll, we'll get together and uh, see what we can find in the codes. There's also gonna be an element of teaching in this where I'm gonna integrate the students into the website and they will be on board helping with the workload. Um, this will, be uh, really important in their growth and searching codes. The primary thing that people want to know is, are they in the codes? And so we're going to start there. It's a good place to start. We're not taking a shot in the dark. These are known variables. We're not making predictions when we're looking for personal codes. It is or it is not. I didn't put these things here. It is or it is not. Let's be really clear. 
I can't make these codes say what they say. It's either there, it's not there. You're either encoded or you're not encoded. Um, another thing I noticed in the patterns is every single one of you that I've looked for and found, you're all Hebrews. Hello. Whether you believe that or not, I found evidence you are connected to the tribes, not just grafted in, by golly, you are born with the genetics of multiple tribes. That's why he scattered us. It's not, you're not going to just find yourself belonging to Judah or Ishakar. What you find through your genealogy and what it took to make you, think about that. The, the thousands of people that came before you that made you. Mila Hagoyim, the fullness of the Gentiles is the mixing. You are comprised of many of the tribes. That's why we use the blanket term, the banner Ephraim, because we are all of the tribes. You guys, he mixed us like seeds in the field when he scattered the nations. So be encouraged, you guys. I just wanted to make this really quick video and let you know I have found all of your names. Thank you for your patience. I will be continuing to work these codes and we'll have them on file for future reference, by the way, if you ever want to come back to them and look more. But I will be continuing on doing that for the next coming weeks until we debut the new website and we'll be going from there. I'm also trying to get together with Scott. You spoke to me in the shower the other night, you guys, I was crying and uh, just weeping for the losses and all those things and uh who gave me a code and it's amazing and i sent it to to scott to work on as a confirmation so we're going to be just like we did in the uh, blood moon table we're going to get together and compare notes on that so be looking for that shalom to you may who will bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you i love you and the father loves you yeshua gave his life for you be blessed in his name shalom